Hello friends, welcome to Chemistry Voice. In this video, we are going to study about Baylis-Hillman reaction, which is also called as morita baylis hillman reaction. Actually, what's happening in this reaction? What is the outcome of this reaction? It is carbon-carbon bond formation. You all are familiar with the aldol reaction. What is aldol reaction? An aldehyde reacting with another aldehyde, a ketone bearing an alpha proton. If I put the right word, an inalizable carbon giving forth aldol, a beta hydroxy carbonyl compound. You get a new carbon-carbon bond between the carbonyl group of the aldehyde and the inalizable carbon. Okay, you get new carbon-carbon bond like this. Okay, but here we are studying about baylis hillman reaction. Please listen. Put a double bond here at the inalizable carbon and the same double bond here also in the same inalizable carbon. This is baylis hillman reaction. Okay, it is reminiscent of aldol reaction. Okay, baylis hillman product, the baylis hillman addict is also similar to aldol but it bears a methylene group at the alpha carbon. Okay. In the place of aldehyde, we can use ketone, we can use imine. Similarly, this electron withdrawing group. What can be used as an electron withdrawing group means we can use ester, we can use amide, nitro, cyano, sulfone, etc. And the base or catalyst that we can use here is phosphines are tertiary amines. These tertiary amines are supposed to be sterically hindered. What is that sterically hindered tertiary amines? See for example, let us take triethylamine. The nitrogen lone pair is here and this is donated to electrophiles. And this is responsible for the basicity and nucleophilicity of these bases. See these uh, three ethyl groups. Apart from pyramidal inversion, they move freely to some extent and they hide these two nitrogen lone pairs and prevent them from being effectively donated to the electrophile. And that's how they were able to suppress the nucleophilicity and basicity of these bases to some extent. So how can we overcome this problem means hold these three hands and bind them together. Hold these three hands and bind them together. Now they are locked. This nitrogen lone pair is freely exposed to the electrophile. Okay, so the name of this base is quinucleidin. And we can use one more base similar to that. It is DAPCO. Diazabicyclo. 2.2.2 octane. Okay, this set of bases are preferred for Baylis Hillman reaction. If we compare all these bases, DAP goes prevalently, predominantly used in Baylis Hillman reaction. So, wherever you see Baylis Hillman reaction, most of the time you can see DAPCO being used as a catalyst and base. Okay, so an aldehyde or ketone or imine reacts with an activated olefin, a olefin bearing an electron withdrawing group giving an aldol-like product bearing a methylene group at the alpha position. This is all about baylis hillman reaction. Okay, let's see some problems. Look at this problem, CSAR 2019, June. Aldehyde reacts with acrylate, methyl acrylate in the presence of DAPCO. This is the first step. Second step is the reaction with benzylamine. So what is the product? Four products are given. Okay. The first step is aldehyde and methyl acrylate. So it is baylis hillman reaction. The product of baylis hillman reaction is, as we have already seen, carbon-carbon bond formation between. This is the baylis hillman product, the product of the first step. If it reacts with benzylamine, the second step. A Michael reaction. Because this is an acrylate, a Michael acceptor. So the product of Michael addition is 
This is the product of Michael addition. It is present in option A. So A may be the answer. However, let's examine the other options as well. In case this nitrogen lone pair attacks this carbonyl carbon, eliminating this methoxy group. Okay, then in the place of methoxy, you get amine. So the product is amide. Okay, where is that option? Option B. So option B may be the product, but for the formation of amide, converting ester into amide, this reaction demands very harsh condition, such as high temperature, a protic acid, a strong Lewis acids, and so on. So we have employed no such condition, and even the temperature has not been mentioned here. If no temperature is mentioned, means it is room temperature. So ester into amide is not at all possible. So option B not possible. In case this nitrogen lone pair attacks here eliminating OH group. That means a substitution reaction SN1 or SN2. Okay. This substitution, okay, amine substituted in the place of hydroxyl group. Okay. Where is it? Option C. Is this reaction possible? Hydroxyl group is not a taller leaving group. Okay. So, in order to accomplish this reaction, you need to convert that hydroxyl group into a leaving group by protonating it, by using Lewis acid, uh, by converting into tosylate or triflate, or by employing Mitsunobu condition. So, no conditions have been used here. So, the substitution in the place of hydroxyl group is not possible. So, option C is also not possible. Now, let's see the option D. In case... This nitrogen lone pair comes and attacks this carbon. Intramolecular aromatic nucleophilic substitution. Then you get a cyclization. I mean a piperidine ring. Option D may be the product. But this is possible only when this fluorine goes out and forms a benzyne intermediate. And at this benzyne carbon nitrogen substitutes. You will get this one. Okay. Please remember, for the formation of benzyne intermediate, we need to employ very strong bases like sodamide or n-butyl lithium. Apart from that, the fluorine, formation of benzyne by the elimination of fluorine is almost unknown as far as I know. Either there must be chlorine or bromine and so on, but formation of benzyne by the elimination of fluorine is not possible. Okay, So, option D is also not possible. Hence, Option A is the product. Hope you understand. If you have any queries and comments, please write it in the comment box. We'll meet in the next video with some other interesting topics. Your suggestions and comments are fervently solicited. Wish you all the very best. Thanks for watching.